Finally, I'm playing Kerbal Space Program 2. Welcome back. It's OG. I've been waiting for this since I started playing KSP1. I started late, okay? No time to chat though. Let's crash some rockets, Kerbal style. Start a new campaign. I don't want a campaign, I want a sandbox. Whatever. Yes, yes. Campaign name. Name. Urgies. Campaign. Real creative. I don't care, that one's fine. First time user. Let's turn that off. I have one objective I've set myself today. One single narrow objective. And it's the same one I used for my first Juno New Origins video. Get a rocket into orbit. So that's my mission for today. Take note, I don't want to get to space, I want to get to orbit. And the rocket has to be my own, not a pre-built one. Now, because that shouldn't be a huge challenge for a KSP-1 veteran, I'm going to try and make it a little harder. I'm going to try and build and launch the rocket as fast as possible. Ideally, I'd like to be in orbit, or at least on my way to orbit, within about 10 minutes of starting. So I'm not going to be reading any pop-ups, I'm not going to do any tutorials. We're just going to build ASAP and launch ASAP. No finding my way around first. To keep myself on track, I've got my phone out here and I'm going to run a timer. And if you hear this sound, let's see if this works. Okay, that is the sound of my impending doom. So that I'm setting a 10 minute timer for for that. And when that goes off, I had better be well on my way to space, if not already in orbit. Alrighty then, let's find out how to do this as quickly as possible. As soon as I'm in, I'm going to start the timer. Get ready, little Kerbals. I'm back. Vab. That should be where we build. Okay. Time is running. Let's get to space. That'll do. How do is it? I need fuel. Methalox fuel tank. Done. Uh, how many stages we're going to do? I need an engine. Engine, engine, engine's good. Extra small, I take it. Medium. Uh, let's do medium. Mass, mass. Oh, that's a lot of thrust. That's... That looks okay. Oh, that's not so okay. Uh... These parts should be scalable or, or something. Ah! What have I got here? Parts manager. Manage some parts. Make it bigger. Ah! If this was Juno, I would be styling. Okay, no time to waste. Go away. Give me something small. Okay, you're in. Done. You, move up. I now want something to separate. Uh, what are we working on? Me small. Small. Done. Fuel tank. Medium, medium. What? No, that's a funny shape. What are you? Oh, that's not even round. Ah! There we go. Where's the... 
split to make it pointy. Oh boy, that's stuck to that. In there, in there. Zoom out. Okay. Another engine. Ah, why do these things not look like things? I'm having difficulty spotting engines. Is that too big? I think that's too big. Can I make this bigger? No. Whatever. Let's go. Time is ticking. Cool. Now. Another fuel tank. I want large. Uh, an adapter? There we go. Large tank, is that you? Are you are you even round? I think so. Okay, engine. Play me thing. Play me thing. Play me thing. I like the look of that one. Play me thing. Cool. Um uh, let's get fancy. Couple of small done. Okay, this is staging. Oh boy, how do I change staging? Oh, this is bad. Make make the pluses do stuff. Yes, yes, that's right. And that must work with those. Yes, work together. Yes. And you. Yes, you two work together. And you the first stage. You go away. You go away. You didn't go away. Uh, I want a parachute. Parachute. Uh, am I doing for time? Five minutes left. Oh, it's more like six minutes left. Come. Go. No, you're too big. Oh, boy. What are you? Done. Uh, stage. Go. Cool. What else do I need? Uh, well, lots of things. I don't care. Um, I'm worried about changing attitude in orbit. I want some sort of reaction wheels or thrusters. Where would I find these things? What are you? Reaction wheels. Reaction wheels. Tiny reaction wheel stabilizer. How tiny is tiny? Ah! Cool. Got a reaction wheel. I want a battery. That's what I need. Okay, you can charge on the rockets, and then I want a Kerbal. How do I get a Kerbal in here? Kerbal, Kerbal. Kerbal, Kerbin. What does that do? It won't let me launch without a Kerbal, right? Maybe there's one in here, maybe there isn't. I don't know. Yes, there is, there is. Why do I have a parts manager? I don't want that. Bull! Hi, Bull! You're the man. Bill, we're going to take off. I hope. How's the clock looking? Four minutes. Exactly four minutes to go. Um, where's my thrust? Oh, there we go. There's the nav ball. You can see my thrust going up and down. Skip countdown. <laughs> well, I found that button quickly enough. Yes! Yes, we're airborne! We're airborne! Oh, it looks beautiful! They are clouds! Uh, what do I have here? Delta V. That must be fuel. Liquid fuel and oxygen. Okay. Brakes. Light. Lights. Come, turn, turn, turn. 
This thing is a little tricky to steer. What's my altitude? 20,000. Stage, stage, go! What are you doing? Oh boy. What have I done? What have I done? Why won't the other stage leave me alone? Get... Get off me. Decouple. Decouple. Seriously? Go away. You are messing with my orbit. I uh, need more stuff to tell me what's happening. Oh, there we go. There's an Apo app. 95. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Periaps is not looking good. Got to fix that. Where, where's my altitude? I've forgotten. Alt oh, there. Okay. Velocity. Velocity relative to what? Orbit. Oh, so if I get that to zero, then I should be in orbit. Um, come on, turn, turn, you stupid thing, turn. Uh, how's my fuel? Oh, I've got lots. Why can't I shake the stage? I need to do something about this. Um, how do I throttle down? Why can't I throttle down? Why is the rocket seemingly out of control? <laughs> Oh, okay, I know what's happened. I think. Do I have a Kerbal on board? I thought I had one. I thought I had Bill. Bill, are you there? If I remember Kerbal's number one, this is acting a lot like a rocket out of range of a control station and that's bad okay well time is up in five seconds four three two one okay so I'm supposed to be well on my way to orbit I'm in space I'm trying to get into orbit but I have no control <sighs> So that's a problem. But all is not lost. There is a good chance that this rocket will get itself into orbit. If it just carries on flying on something like that trajectory. Where do I find a time warp button? No stage blue. What's this do? No vessel control. I know that. We know that. That's painfully obvious. Oh wait, this must be time warping. Whoa, whoa, what just, what happened? Pause. The front flew off. Now I'm thinking I'm controlling the wrong piece of rocket. That's what it was. I was controlling the back. How does that even work? How did it? Okay. I have bull. We are sort of doing the right thing. I have to find a way to set a maneuver node. How do I set a maneuver node? 
Bill. Talk to me, Goose. Uh. Well, I am OG. And you know what happens when OG doesn't have something planned. We wing it. Okay, Bill. Ready to wing it. Let's try and fly this baby manually. Where are you going, baby? Oh boy, that's not good. No, go prograde, go prograde. Where, where are you going? Cut the power, I don't want to burn the wrong way. Okay, now let's try this again. No, stop, stop doing that. Can you not see which way I'm pointing you to go? Ah! I need to burn radial out. Oh, is that now orbital radial out or relative to the ground radial out? Oh boy, cut, cut, cut. Maybe this engine's too powerful. I'll burn slower. There, relative to surface. Up. Can you do that? Can you try that for me? Pretty please. Come, go, 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 go. Point your nose into the air for the love of Kerbin. Where do I see my thrust to weight? Into the air. Into the air. You're not doing the whole into the air thing we discussed. That's opposite of into the air. That's towards the sea. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh that is... Oh and jeepers. I thought KSP1 was janky. Look how this thing is swiveling around. Oh my goodness. Okay, burn retrograde. Wow, this terrain looks weird. What is going on here? This looks like an old interlaced monitor. Oh, there's the sea. Oh, that is so bad. And... Splashdown. I'm not calling that a fail. I'm calling that very Kerbal. I'm happy. I played KSP2 at last. I, I can't complain about that. Guys, thank you for joining me on this first look at KSP2. If you like what you saw, then stick around and uh, maybe consider subscribing. I intend to make many more of these videos. N not all like this one. There will be things which are a lot more complex and also substantially more ridiculous as I learn and practice more. <laughs> Obviously I have a lot of learning to do. Yeah, and I, I really look forward to it and um, this is going to be fun. Before I say goodbye, one little point of uh, point of order to those who can't run ksp2 on their current graphics hardware or maybe those who can't afford the game itself at launch price i truly do sympathize with you but take heart all is not lost ksp2 is still in beta and you can play old ksp1 if you have it and still have just as much fun and probably a lot more functionality. 
put KSP2 on your Steam watch list and then wait for the alert saying that the price has dropped. Sooner or later, all of the game's prices drop. I buy almost all my games that way. And I wait for the big specials too, like 50% or more. I was genuinely very upset, quite seriously now, when I saw the system specs for KSP2, because I, I was way below them. Luckily, it now looks like they did build in some safety room for themselves with those specs. And as they optimize the code, things should get better. You can probably run it on less than the spec they suggest and that'll only improve in the future. And very, very luckily for me, my wife encouraged me to take the hit and spend what equates to about a month's income for me on new hardware and on the software for the game itself, uh, which is also not cheap. Have I mentioned I have an awesome wife? because I do. Really, I'm humbled by her faith in me and her encouragement of me. It's a, a huge investment in this channel and I, I'm going to do everything I can to make it pay off in the long run. But for those of you not fortunate enough to be in my position with nice new graphics hardware, if you haven't looked at Juno New Origins, then please take a look. It's really good from what I've seen in my first 30 or so hours of gameplay and I still have a lot to learn and explore in Juno. In many ways I'd say that it's even superior to KSP1 and definitely KSP2 being that it's still in early access. Even if it doesn't feature our beloved little Kerbal friends. If you look at my channel you'll see I have a Juno playlist. And hopefully I'll remember to insert that link when I upload this video to YouTube. Go take a look at a video too. See what they like. The more recent of my videos are the better ones because I'm also still learning how to do videos and uh, my older ones are the worst ones. Otherwise, if my videos suck too much for you, go look at someone else's videos. Uh, the important thing is that Juno runs on just about anything. It has really low hardware requirements, yet it still looks beautiful and it honestly performs brilliantly. So I'm going to be playing Juno and I'm going to be playing KSP2 and I'm going to be uploading videos for both. So obviously the focus for now will be towards KSP2, seeing that it's just launched. Thanks again and I hope to see you soon. OG out. I think that fizzled. <laughs> no kidding.